Starting off day two, putting this uh, high tunnel together. Plus we got life is popping around the homestead. Check it out. Brand new kittens coming out. Don't come by me, I'm not your mama. <laughs> Actually moved them from there and put them down there so they wouldn't fall. Got the bees coming in and out on this cold, windy day, but they're trying to get out there and trying to bring home some pollen. And just temperatures here are just borderline for them. They, they are not as springy as they should be because their, their bodies are not as warm. So it takes them a little more to get it on and off the launching pad and to go out and do their business. And while they're out, if the temperature changes just a little bit, they could get cold enough where they can't fly home. So that's another problem that you run into with these fluctuations in the temperatures. But so far the hive looks good, made it through winter, and now we'll have to keep an eye on it. I got the sheep. The girls are trying to get their dominance on. So one of them is gonna become the dominant you. And because it's spring and the, you know, the temperatures are there, it's like mating time and everything else, they're trying to work out their pecking order. And those are the three bossy ewes in the bunch. And that one right there is my prize ewe. She's a real good mama. Both of those two, she's okay. So, see how that works out. In case you didn't know, uh, it's the ewe that runs the show in the flock. It's not the ram. So one of those girls, she'll be the boss of everybody and then the ram will just protect what she wants to do and then make sure everybody's, you know, having lambs and then he watches out for him. He's the muscle. Luckily the apple trees all budded out. So if we get any more cold weather, we should be okay with the apples, hopefully. And then we have Mr. Turkey. All the turkeys are strutting their stuff. You know, they're looking they're talking to each other. That's our bourbon red there. Good morning, Mr. Bourbon Red. And there's the female, but her male is over there. And he's Mac Daddy. He's the new boss. It was the bourbon red, but now it's him. So these three keep their distance. <laughs> every once in a while, there's another female around here. Every once in a while they'll grab her. But they don't mess with that one. He's a big boy. All right, we're back to day two of building the wind tunnel. <laughs> Actually, we're building a high tunnel so we can grow more food. But man, it's a mess out here. All right, so we're gonna show you the phase two, uh, you know, the next steps. If you missed the first video, I'll link it at the end of this video, and you can watch the first part and catch up to it, and then uh, we're gonna show you all the phases that we're gonna do today. All right, here we go. A lot of the greenhouses come with an option. You can get the wood for the sides uh, and for the ends, and we went with the metal, right? Set it and forget it. So this way we won't have to worry about this probably in our lifetime. A Little bit more money, but probably worth it in the long run. So what we had to do first, find our spot that we wanted to start off the bands, and then we leveled out the first bar, and then we just drill in with these channels that they provide in the kit all the way down. Okay, once we got the bottom boards down, we use the transit here. Gary brought us like transit. Those are pretty handy dandy for keeping everything level. And what he's doing now is we got both sides level. We're working on this side while Gary's measuring and marking the top bar for the next row, right? So there's a row on the bottom like that and then there's gonna be a row on the top. And it'd be the same if you had wood, uh, but we're using metal, like I said.
got the top board done on the one side. Gary just showed up with the cut piece. And we're gonna put this last piece on right here. It's 1.30, we're three hours in. All right, now you can see how it goes. Top, bottom. What you planting? I wanted to plant some more dill here. This is, we had, it was like 27 degrees and um, we had a good front and some of it kind of died to some of the ones that I had planted early. But the one thing that I like to do with the dill is I let it grow from the very early spring and then I just keep replanting it because I put it in everything and it is so good and it's a great companion plant. So I'm gonna put it in some other beds too, but can never have enough dill. It makes everything taste great, especially my ferment. How do you like the wind? Well, it's blowing my seeds everywhere. <laughs> I was just thinking this is not an opportune time to be planting, but it's got to get done, so I'm doing it. And I love it anyway, so got to water it. It's my next step. The oregano looks beautiful, though. Tuesday, May 2nd. No planes in the sky still above our remote island location. <laughs> All right, I'm just trying to show you guys. All right, we're on to the second rail, opposite sides. Yep, it's still windy. <laughs> the reason why this takes a while, this is all precision work here. So we just laid down the bottom bar that goes across the front or the back, but it's the front. Screwing that on right now, and then we'll start building out the frame for the door. And you guys will see how that'll go together. Oh, John Henry! So we have this thing plumbed. Okay, you see a line there? Yep. That's the inside of the door, so it's got to be on this side of the line. And that notch has got to be on the inside. And you guys, you can free cut it off. <laughs> <laughs> are blowing over hats are blowing off <laughs> it's crazy out here so we got our first part of our wall going in right here you can see it right there it's gonna be the first part of the door hangs off of there and you'll start seeing the whole end piece come together now. Move it over his hammer out. She's plumb! For the record, we see planes in the sky. You know, there's planes up there, but they're leaving nothing behind. So we're just about ready to start finishing this other side of the door bracket, and then we'll start finishing up a little bit more of this framing here on the end. Door header! A little after five, 
We got the whole front wall done and the door framed out. It's pretty good. Still got horizontals to go in. Still got horizontals to go in. So we're almost framed out. Why are you trying to bust my bubble? Come on, girls. Hip. Bad up, girls. Come on. Let's go. We're going across the road here. All right. Come on. Bad up, girls. Bad up, girls. Come on. Bad up, girls. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Stay focused. Come on. Come on. Come on, girls. That's a girls. That's a girls. That's a girls. Come on, right in there. Come on. Hip. Get in there. There you go. Up, whoop, whoop. Come on. Come on, girls. Turn around. Hip. Turn around, mama. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Come on. That a girls. That a girls. That a girls. Another successful day. Make sure you hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed. And we'll see you for part three of building the high tunnel. So we can grow more food.